this is my hair now this is my new look and today we're gonna try something different something new uh, this is basically to address uh, questions that have been sent to my business column in Freeman in my emails and my blog since I put my email publicly so I, I received these questions so I decided you know what um, I'm gonna make a video out of this instead you know answering this particular question what are the four affordable ways to invest or earn in real estate? So we're going to answer that. Since my editing skills are very, very limited, um, I made a presentation. You know, uh, my thing is public speaking, but instead we're going to do this video way. And um, I made a presentation. I'm just going to smack, smack my face in between the presentation while I do my thing. So here we go. Friends, this is the four affordable ways to invest in real estate. So yes, go make that money. Uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and uh, do comment uh, for any feedback in case you enjoy this or learn something new or if you have topics to suggest in the future make sure to let me know the first just to become a real estate service professional um, what does that mean well you could you know the most obvious option is to get a job right what is your uh, what is your puhunan what is your uh, investment it's, it's time it's energy in in going through the job process when um when you are uh, applying to, to be part of a real estate firm and you don't have to sell you can go for maybe uh, financial uh, side of, of real estate you also get to learn a lot from that or you can go for uh, marketer side so either way you get to see different aspects of the real estate industry through the real estate firm now another area of engagement uh, under uh, real estate industry is the property uh, management side of things so this is also a different area which requires a different skill set uh, by the way and um, yeah it's also the same uh, arrangement you get a job now here's another option by becoming a licensed real estate a salesperson so in this case um, you may need to uh, invest some money in terms of of payment or paying for uh, the, the licensing fees unless unless uh, your company or your firm real estate firm will sponsor you uh, with regards to that and the great thing for this is you can practice and exercise and learn uh, selling skills you know? If you decide to leave you still developed and built the sales skills whether you want to engage in future businesses any business requires sales so that's, that's another option and of course there's this cleaning services right um, it's you can say it's a very a dirty way to make money in uh, real estate but it's it's legit right it could be from house to house it could be condo unit to condo unit or if you manage to make a deal with a real estate investor who owns multiple properties multiple condo units then you can have a fixed arrangement or a contractual arrangement wherein you have like consistent income for the next what three to six months or could be year or even multi-year now, if, if your cleaning service business grows because it's highly like effort-based or effort-driven, of course, you invest in cleaning equipment, but it compare that to buying a house or a condo, the difference is uh, great. It's a huge difference. Um, that's just the, like, 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 that's the small view of it. If you want to go big, I mean you can target warehouses 
warehouses uh, require cleaning too. It could be a wet warehouse or it could be a dry warehouse, which require different cleaning requirements. And you can explore this particular area of, of real estate uh, for yourself as well. So the second way, affordable way to invest in real estate is through rates. Rates mean real estate investment trust. So it's basically, it's, it, was, it is created when a corporation or trust uses investors money to purchase and operate income properties. Uh, rates are bought and sold on major exchanges just like any other stock and must pay dividends or pay out dividends. So they are required by Philippine law to always, um, you know, declare dividends. So you get a recurring income through dividend and should you choose to sell your particular rate that you purchase, then you also get the similar uh, benefit with with like the stock market, you buy low and you sell high. Uh, but most people invest or buy uh, rates because of the, uh, the income generating aspect or the dividend aspect of it. Um, from the Philippine standpoint, our rates are relatively new, although our law has been in, in existence um, for quite some time now. Uh, I think you can check out the rates that are being launched, um, slowly being launched by the big players in real estate in the Philippines, namely like Ayala Land. And I think we have an upcoming, I think Q4 or early Q1 next year, um, Double Dragon. Uh, Double Dragon will, will have will be their own rate uh, as well. So that's rates for you, but it, it's a very new... Uh, industry and and you know the the purchase i think it, it depends on on the on the minimum like rate that you want to the price is this diff, is different but it's once again you compare it to a house and lot condo wherein you will have to be paying for millions of course across multiple years but compare this to rate rates are very affordable um, another option, another alternative are uh, rate funds. So th these are similar to mutual funds or a UITF or you can call it pooled fund. So it's basically similar to that, similar to a mutual fund wherein it's, it's a pooled selection of rates, different type of rates, and the average of that is, is what... Uh, what you earn or what you get if you buy low or sell, choose to buy low or sell high uh, over time and I think the the rate funds that we have access to here in the Philippines is either through I think I think banks offer um, rates and I think some some insurance companies offer rates rate funds but um, you have you have to uh, to check on the portfolio there. It's usually foreign rates because we don't have the freight funds for local rates in the Philippines yet. But maybe in the future, once our rate industry has been established, then we will get the the get the the rate funds uh, locally. But for now, if you invest in rate funds, it's usually Asian or foreign, U.S. or Western rates, uh, Singaporean, Malaysian. And I think, yeah, that's about it for, for rate. The third option or third way to affordably invest or earn in real estate is memorial lots investing or buying and selling memorial lots. Now, this is very, very underrated. Um, the properties with lowest investment and highest return are, you, are memorial lots. But of course, this, of course uh, the price depends uh, per location, of course. And you can pay for as low as 2,500 pesos or 3,000, depending on location, depending on the development, and monthly for a span of three to four years and own a lot that's easy to flip. So for example, if you have cash and uh, you have uh, lots that start around 50K, that's pre-demand, uh, meaning it's like pre-selling. And then at demand, they usually sell at around what? 85,000 pesos so it's it's quick profit 
uh, if you look at the, the supply and demand side of things um there's always demand <laughs> there's always demand because people are all are, are gonna are gonna die okay people are are always it's it's the truth like it, people will die and uh, unfortunately it's an unfortunate example but um you know you know the the current situation that we have today you know the global health crisis pandemic people will die and and some people have prepared some people have not prepared and you usually when 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 such things are not planned um you know people tend when when, when a family member dies and then people hurry to buy uh they, they look for uh either a memorial lot or something that's more high-end or the fancier versions of the memorial lot wherein you have the cemented and then you have a designed uh, memorial area um, but that's but that's a different um cost and of course that's gonna be more expensive and you have to invest uh, more on that but typically speaking right if you want to own your very first property well you can own a memorial lot instead uh, compare that to uh townhouse it's smaller than a townhouse compare that to condo compare that to house and lot and then you can brag you can brag about it like ah i have a, i bought my first property it's a memorial lot and then you can sell that you can flip that uh, later when there's demand if your friends have demand or if you know somebody in the in your local area um that demands a, a quick burial unfortunately not one would knock on wood so that's memorial lots number four uh, real estate investing real, real estate group investing right um this is not something new of course um this is basically a carbon copy of investment clubs uh typically investment clubs or are are basically like mini mutual fund companies or even just group of friends who decided to pool their money and then you have uh, someone who, who you nominated or you voted you agreed to assign as a fund manager and then that fund manager will decide how they are going to invest that so the typical this is a typical uh, setup you know pool the money from different people friends family whoever uh, business partners fund manager selects uh, portfolio of funds, portfolio of assets, portfolio of uh, stocks, bonds, short-term deposits. That's a typical setup. But for real estate, instead of instead of paper assets, you decide to invest on properties. Uh, these properties could be uh, rental, potential rental properties, wherein you get recurring income, or it, you can go for a flipping strategy wherein the the fund manager or the man the real estate fund manager will decide we're gonna choose this property and then we're just gonna flip it like you buy a dilapidated property and then you fix it make it look good make it better make it uh, sellable and then you sell it you get the you everybody earns from the mark up from that and then it's divided so yeah if you don't have the income or the funds to invest individually real estate then you can form a group together to invest in real estate so that that's basically it for four affordable ways to start and uh, invest in in real estate so thank you so much for watching hope you, hope you learned something new and once again I do hope you should you're already subscribed hit the notification bell a like Share this to your friends, family, and do comment for any feedback whatsoever.